And what we're looking at here is our aquaponics system. This is a, a change from the system that we used last year. I'll include some pictures of last year's system. It was based on the bottle bucket design for hydroponics, but applied to aquaponics. It worked very well, except that uh, the plants would grow so large that the, the buckets kept falling over. They didn't have enough weight in them. So I went with a box and trough system. Uh, this year we also added it's like uh, what's going to be a cyclo cyclonic uh, filter system to, to, to be able to pull fertilizer out of the bottom for uh, the farm area over there. I made this uh, cyclone tank out of an old brewing tank I had actually picked up at a yard sale. The whole kit and caboodle for like 25 bucks I think. Um, this here is our media filter. It's got lava rock in it. Um, as we go by, I'm going to add more and more lava rock to that. So I just wanted to show you the aquaponic system. And um, this aquaponic system isn't complete, but it won't take much uh, much more to, uh, to finish it up. Okay, thank you. All right, so this is the aquaponic system that I used last year. I built it out of mop buckets, dollar mop buckets from Walmart, some electrical grommets, some PVC, a sump pump, a uh, an air pump from a medical machine, like I think it was a, a aspiration machine, a few air stones, um, just basically junk. I built the thing out of junk. It worked very well until the plants got too big and they started falling over because it had no weight uh, in the bottom of the buckets, and a little wind would come uh, or whatever, and you could you could just it just fall over. Here's a, a media filter. This is a lava rock and window screen. Real basic, there's the airstones, real basic system, easy to do. You can build this thing out of junk. Thank you.